it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today it is a beautiful what is supposed to be a spring day but it is so warm that I thought we could come out in the garden and take a look at this Sue Wilson haul that has arrived it is a brand new just released literally today collections from Sue I haven't got everything that's been released but I've got a good selection <laughs> that I thought we could share together. And I just thought it would be lovely to share this beautiful English sunny day as well. Okay, so let's get these out and take a peek. I haven't even looked myself yet, so I'm super excited. Okay, so there's this big bundle that I literally just tipped it out of the box. So I'm gonna slide it over to one side and we're gonna take one at a time and have a look. The first thing that was a really exciting to me was Sue released some more of her noble double pierced dies. We've got here some circles and the ovals. There was also some more rectangles, which I understand were sort of the same size, sort of die size, I think they called it. Oh, sorry about the shadows. Um, so I didn't get those ones, but I did, as you can see, get the ovals and the circles. And I just think these are gonna be really helpful with a lot of the normal Sue Wilson dies, the sort of design dies, because they will really sit with those well, I think. So you get nine dies, and they're double pierced in that, I don't know if you can see, but there's piercings on both sides of the cut line. So it means whichever side you use, so if you use the outside edge, you still get piercings, or if you use it as an oval, rather than the aperture you also get it so it's kind of cool so and then on the circles it you get 10 dies so that's those and they're really decent size look at that come from quite small to a decent size i don't know if it says um 18 centimeters apparently and this one's 19 centimeters top to bottom so a decent size so i love these these are like my staples i use them a lot. okay so now we have the first of the two collections that were launched the sort of there was lots of other elements that were part of the kind of uh categories for want of a better word like her perspectives or the striplets or whatever some of those there was things like that released additional elements to those but she also launched two new full collections so I've got here the Swiss collection so let's take a closer look at each one so this is Zurich and again with uh, often the case with her dies you get this sort of shape here that goes across all the collection and then you can often nest those together they are on the whole different sizes so this this sort of oval re uh, rounded rectangle will go across all of that collection and you should be able to nest a good proportion of those together to get different frames etc as well as just sort of little plates okay so that's the Zurich so you can just see the size there beautiful and you've got here six dies so again with this you've got your lacy bit as I call it and then you've got your outer edge so you can cut it out as a whole or you can cut it into your card obviously you can use the outside edge on its own and then of course you've got the sort of um, rounded rectangle there then you've got another sort of lovely almost like a railway track isn't it that piece there and then you've got another rectangle and then you've got another little tag piece with some sort of lovely um, detail there so that's the Zurich and that's I won't go into as much detail on each one I just wanted to show you sort of the first one so you can see the kind of thing we get and here we have burn and that absolutely beautiful and with this one you've got six dies so you can see here there's your rounded rectangle and then you've got that one there so they should work together and then you've got this one here it's just slightly different shape and you've got that there I don't know if those two are the same size they look like they might be slightly different but it's hard to tell until you get them out 
So that's burn. Not beautiful. And then we've got Geneva. So that's your oval one. So this one again, you should be able to use that really well with your oval double pierced squares, uh, squares, ovals even. And you've got some embossing detail on that one here look you can see and actually look that element there is completely separate so you could put that onto your card you could use your double pierced ovals to cut round or just as it is just to emboss a lovely detail around some sort of element that you've got in the, uh, on your card it would work really well so there's some really nice detail on there I love all this Okay, so that was Geneva, and then we've got background. That absolutely stunning. We've got six dies here. So beautiful, the detail on that. I'm so excited. Can't wait to get using them, and I'm hoping to do a card for you very soon. But anyway, so that's beautiful background, and then the final one of the Swiss collection is our corner border and tag. Again, gorgeous. I love that. Oh, sorry, the tag. <laughs> Actually, I love it all. I think it's beautiful. So you can see a rough idea of the size. And that's, I mean, a decent size border. And this one's got an outside edge around all of it. And then you've got your lacy piece in the middle. So you could cut it into the card or you can cut it out of your card. Okay, so that is Swiss corner border and tag. Okay, so now we have got the Belgium collection. I think this might be just nudging into my sort of favorite set of these ones. I really, really like this collection. I love all the tags, I like the background. In fact, I like all of it. I love the other one, but I think this one, just by a little smidgy bit, is my favorite. So let's take a look at a closer look at these. So we're starting off with tags and I really like this. I think this is lovely having two big decorative tags like this. You've got actually six dies here. So I'm assuming it's three on each. Yes, yeah? so you've got your outside edge, your lacy piece and then an inner piece and I love that I love that you can either cut that out as an aperture or what I did before as you may have seen on the Mother's Day card I used that and I cut it out separately and then I popped it up to make like a 3d element on the tag here and I just think this is a beautiful shape as well so that's that poor little Daisy's puffing out here she's so warm it's a really warm day I'm literally melting it's crazy Okay, so here is the Antwerp. So can you hear those birds, aren't they beautiful? Sorry, I'm distracted by beautiful things in front of me, a beautiful sunny day and gorgeous songs from the birds. We're so lucky where we live. It's right near, well, pretty much the new forest is all around us. So you get all these beautiful bird songs. Anyway, back to the dyes. Antwerp, so we've got five dyes here. Again, beautiful. I love this shape, really different. And over we go. So same kind of configuration every time. And now we've got Bruges. And we've got six dies on that one. Again, beautiful shape. I love it. And I love the way that the lace part, as I always call it, is done on this set on this one i think it's so pretty this is why i think this one's my favorite of the two because i just think all this work this kind of filigree work is absolutely stunning and there it is on the back so you can see there's so much so many options with this because of the way that she's done the dies with the edges being separate and everything it just gives you so much more flexibility and then we've got background i think this is probably my favorite of all my favorites i think this is absolutely gorgeous i love it and we've got four dies with this one that beautiful i think that's something i haven't seen something along those kind of design before from her it's quite different, I think, to what I've seen before. Okay, and then we've got Brussels. 
again you've got that shape again and it may be that this outside edge may nest they may be very slightly different I'm not sure and I'm sure that these pieces will as well and again look at this beautiful filigree and this one has four dies stunning and then finally in the Belgium collection we've got border and corners so uh, normally we have border corners and tags but this time the tags were separate because they were such a uh, much more bigger uh, more to them so I think that's why they were separate but here I like the fact that the corner here they've got like a corner going in I love that because I was really looking for something like that the other day and I didn't see it and so I I'm really pleased to see that and I think you can use that on lots of different cards and then you've got your beautiful border so six dies here so basically outside edge and your filigree or lace section on each okay so now we get to the bit where we've got kind of all the sort of separate dies they're not part of a collection in itself like these are Brussels or Belgium or Swiss but they are part of a collection in that like this is um we've got here the perspectives one so she's got several that are in that perspectives kind of category so on that note here is the first one last night i had um happy birthday and i've actually got a card coming up very shortly i've done the video i'm just editing it right now so that will be coming up very soon so you'll see how this works and i've actually i haven't used hugs i've used the happy one but it's the same principle obviously and um i've actually done it for my cards for men uh monthly video because i think that i actually did it for my dad's card so hopefully you'll like that so that will be coming up very soon but as you can see there's lots on that and I think I showed you these last time as well and you can see there's lots of different options to it so I think that's great and then I got this one I didn't um, do this last time something similar it wasn't exactly like this but I love this it says triple birthday so you got happy birthday happy 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 birthday birthday happy <laughs> And it's actually all one die, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm thinking, looking at it, it's going to be attached to that bottom line. So when you take it off, you're not going to end up with a whole heap of letters. Um, I'm also assuming that you will also end up with a positive and a negative. So um, you can make use of it in those two ways. So that's that one, which I think is fab, a bit different. Then we've got part of the, the frames and tags collection. I, if you remember, there was a whole section where there was all these different girls' names. And this is the latest, one of the latest ones of that. And this is Gillian. And I just thought it was stunning. And you've got four dies on this one. And I just thought it was so pretty. I love that little wobbly edge and that beautiful center. Isn't it stunning? So that's part of those. I had, I can't remember the names, I think it was Alexandra and there was some, a couple of different ones and um, I showed you those last time, the ones that I got. So that's the latest of that section. And then there's a new little sort of category that she's come up with, as far as I know it's new, and it's called Shadow Box. So I've got here um it's the shadow box collection so we've got here the shadow box stitch lattice frames i absolutely love this i think that is so gorgeous and you've got four dies so you've got the four edges so it's like your um pier snowball dies here but with stitching each side of the cut line which i think is absolutely gorgeous and then you've got the lovely lattice piece in the center as well so I think that is really nice. I'm hoping that if this proves popular that she'll do a whole collection like she did with the Noble Pierce dies. She'll do the same but stitched because I would love a whole collection of rectangles, squares, um, circles, etc. with the stitched. I think that is lovely. I really, really like that then on the same collection we've got a shadow box accessory i picked out this one here i just thought it was so pretty it's called the stacked love and I, it's just one single die but just really really nice 
and I can see that just being a real simple little card that you could make with that or add it to a more complicated one as well. And then finally on the dies, we've got the Shadow Box Collection Birthday. She also had a wedding, similar sort of format where you had the different sections. They were laid out slightly differently and obviously they had different things inside of it. This one's birthday orientated. The wedding one was obviously wedding themed. So you've got here 15 dies, so a huge amount of dies. You've got all these little bits in the centre. Then you've got all the this piece here and you've got inside of that you've got the little squares just plain die cut squares so you could cut them out as an aperture or you can leave that as a flat piece of card without an aperture so you've got a lot going on there so I just thought it was really fun something quite different again to what we've seen it's nice there's been some really last couple of collect, um, releases have been some really nice different things coming out and the final thing I got I just thought I'd get one stamp just I just love the stamps but I don't tend to get as many because I just get so involved in doing the dies as dies with the Sue Wilson but I did love this and I thought it would be lovely to colour in and then cut out using the noble pierced ovals or it actually is to go with your Geneva collection die which is this one here so it actually matches in with this one so what you could do I think is you can see that piece there which is um, got the sort of same kind of texture as that embossing so that is the last two the sun has just gone behind a cloud unfortunately but okay so this is my selection of the sue wilson dies that have literally as i say just been launched there are more than what i've got here not a lot to be honest but there are there's some striplets there's some more to the collections like the the perspectives etc so and as i say there's more of these uh shadow box etc and and more of the noble pierced dies here so there are a few more things but you've got a good representation here of the collection and you've got the two main collection releases in their entirety as well so i hope you've enjoyed taking a look at these i hope that you love them as much as i do i'm super excited to share a project with you using some of these i can't wait to get crafting okay so i will see you again soon thank you so much for watching bye for now bye